Hi everyone, this is Jay from Interview Query here, uh, and I'm back with another video about the Google Data Scientist interview. I wanted to create this video as kind of a guide for anyone who's looking to interview at Google coming up uh, and just give the necessary information uh, that is needed. Given how complex the interview is, I'm sure having a guide will be helpful. So data scientists at Google actually work on a wide facet of teams. Uh, products and features uh, and mostly they work on enhancing a lot of the advertising uh, on Google. Uh, this is due to the fact that Google is primarily you know an ads business and so a lot of data scientists work on metrics and experimentation in order to actually figure out what things work in terms of uh, user engagement to click on ads, experimenting with different ad copies, designs, different sorts of bidding systems. A lot of it also is widespread across uh, the different teams, right? Ads is just one specific team, but there are like a lot of teams such as YouTube, you're looking at Google Maps, engineering and design, um, geography, operations, search ads, business strategy. Um, these are just like a couple of examples that, uh, of the teams that at Google, which hire data scientists. And so when actually preparing for the role, uh, you might think about this as more as an all-encompassing data science job. Uh, and I think that's what Google interviews for. But a lot of the times it is more specifically focused on analytics and experimentation. And so that means that primarily you're, re you're working with tools such as like SQL, Python, uh, maybe R, uh, but not doing too much heavy lifting machine learning stuff because a lot of the machine learning engineers actually work on the engineering team. The data science role was actually, it used to be called quantitative analyst uh, back in the day, and then they renamed it uh, just because of how the industry tends to go. Uh, and that is kind of indicative of how um, Google uh, has been looking at in terms of their entire organization, in terms of uh, setting up organizational teams. In terms of other kinds of analyst roles, uh, there's also teams uh, product analyst role and also a uh, data analyst role and those are also very similar. Uh, the only difference is that I think the data scientists work more cross-functionally. They work across uh, more with engineering, uh, more with marketing and uh, potentially sales um, and all of these different teams, product. Uh, well, I think the product analysts and the data analyst teams work more specifically on one of these teams and they embed themselves more. Uh, while the data science teams are actually more cross-functional in that regard. Cool, so let's get into more of the interview process, right? At Google, it first starts out with the recruiter screen. Um, they'll be sending you like a questionnaire via email after your application, uh, and then you'll get on a call and you'll just talk about your experience, uh, past projects, why you wanna work at Google. Uh, these are all pretty standard questions that happen during the data science interview or any interview in general, right? And then after that, uh, usually, they'll actually try to then do a technical screen if you pass the recruiting screen. Uh, and this is done via video conferencing, um, obviously Google Hangouts, uh, and it's done with a data scientist. And this interview generally revolves around um, A-B testing, experimental design, statistics, uh, and then maybe even a probabilistic coding question. When I say probabilistic coding, it's something where you could actually show that you actually know statistics and probability while also knowing how to code in Python. So example for this is like, write a function that would be able to generate a random number from like a uniform distribution, right? And so that means that you actually have to go into Python and write this uh, function out that shows that you actually know what a uniform distribution is, you know how to generate a random number in Python, and you also know how to just generally write Python and write a script. Cool, so after you pass that, um, the next stage is actually an on-site interview. And this is like the last stage of the Google interview process, right? And this is where you talk to around five different people. Uh, they're generally people that consist of uh, product teams, uh, like a product manager, uh, or maybe a couple data scientists, uh, and then probably like an executive as well. And generally, uh, the, the kind of on the interview panel consists of like five different things, right? So you have a business case study, uh, and this is mainly like a case study type a question involving real life Google problems. Um, and then maybe towards the end, they might ask you uh, to write some SQL queries in terms of uh, around that business case problem. Uh, and the next step is then like an applied statistics and machine learning interview. And this is like, this just covers statistical concepts and modeling. And so think about questions around, um, it might be more of a case question where they ask you to, let's say, 
design a feature for Google Home and then you dive into it and then once you actually have to build the model, uh, they talk about the model and then they'll be like, okay, should you be using random force or should you use, uh, you know, should you use linear regression or something, right? And then they'll ask you a little bit more about it and they'll be like, okay, uh, why would you use linear regression? Uh, would you use L1 or L2 regularization? Um, describe like your method. And so they'll kind of dive into it uh, as you go into the actual uh, concepts and uh, as you go into the actual case itself, right? Additionally, there's going to be like more of a product metrics interview uh, and potentially like a case study as well. Um, but in this case, uh, product metrics is more about A-B testing, experiment design, uh, something about like diving into data. So let's say that like the Google Docs usage has dipped by 10%. What might be happening and then you have to just dive into that case with them and talk to them about it there have been other cases where uh interviewers just have actually talked to people on the on-site and then they've asked them questions about uh even more consulting based case questions such as you know google is interested in uh acquiring a different company how would you analyze whether we should actually uh, acquire this company or not and then you have to go into the fact where you have to dive into different aspects of uh, you know, the company's metrics that you're about to acquire, um, does it make sense for Google as a whole? Uh, and it kind of goes to show like how they want to hire someone with a little bit more holistic thinking about um, different kinds of concepts. And this might be to also figure out, you know, how well you do on this interview uh, and this part of the interview, uh, if they want to put you on more of a strategy side in terms of data science roles. Um, last test is usually like a leadership or Googliness interview, uh, which basically uh, talks to um, probably leadership, uh, and they're just trying to gauge how well you communicate, how well you navigate uh, like workplace ambiguity, um, and how well you can work under pressure, uh, and then also just general like Google culture fit, right? And so um, this is super important because it uh, it you know it's definitely under the radar because people mainly think about how you should focus on uh, the technical questions. Uh, but a lot of the times you have to realize a lot of these things are more nuanced than that and that there's a lot of things that actually matter within uh, behavioral and how you present yourself uh, during this time as well. Um, awesome, and then lastly, uh, just some like end notes and tips. Um, I'd like to say that like Google questions are pretty standardized and they definitely rely on situational scenarios with their products. Uh, so definitely study all of Google's products uh, and so, because they're probably gonna ask you about how to improve a feature or how to evaluate like a different Google product and you'll have to know what that Google product is. Uh, and if you don't know, then you'll definitely be at a disadvantage from the get-go, right? I think also that they are, uh, one thing that they've said is that they are an employee-focused culture, which means that uh, as a corporate culture that motivates employees to share information, um, this means that like there is general competitiveness, right, and actually innovation that uh, helps through training and support. Uh, and this means that uh, if you are looking at this sort of like interview uh, with Google, uh, it helps to really dive into their culture a little bit more and understand where they're coming from. Lastly, um, I want to go through a list of data science interview questions. And so uh, Google, in terms of their technical interview questions, can ask uh, basically around five topics, right? And this spans from machine learning, statistics and probability, product and business cases, and coding. Uh, and so a couple of example questions from each are, uh, let's say like, what is the function of p-values and high dimensional linear regression? Uh, for statistics, uh, an example question is like, for a sample size of n, the margin of error is three. How many more samples do we need for the margin of error to hit 0 0.3? Uh, for product and business, uh, one question could be like, how would you detect inappropriate content on YouTube? And this is like a larger case question, correct? And then for programming, you could see something where uh, it'd be like, write a function, uh, to essentially reverse a string or write a function to uh, plot a histogram given uh, an array of data. Um, and so these are just examples. Okay, cool. That concludes the data science interview at Google. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, check out some of the links below. 
Uh, you can find uh, some interesting content there on interview query on the Google data science interview, um, different data science interview questions that were asked at Google, uh, and check out our problems that we have on the website as well uh, and in our newsletter. Uh, and then lastly, remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more information on data science interviews, tips and tricks, uh, and more. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye.